La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite. Of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais. Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi. When you can't push one more second. Chase the glory. Viseo. U Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat U Sport à Radio Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettler. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues des championnats U Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball. Le V 200 W, ballon officiel de U Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V 200 W, official volleyball of U Sports. Welcome back inside the Burridge Gym. It's the final day of the 2024 U Sports Women's Volleyball Championships. It's the second match of the day, and it is the bronze medal matchup between the Acadia Axe women and the Manitoba Bisons. Matthew Davison alongside Teresa Skubik for the call of this one, and Manitoba tight five setter against their Canada West rival yesterday, Acadia. Or, like, uh, Alberta, rather, yep. on the other side, Acadia, they go up against UBC in that semifinal match, and they lose that one after, you know, a really historic run to get to this point. For Manitoba, they captured a national championship seven years ago, while the, or nine years ago, rather, back in 2014, while for Acadia, they have a chance to make some history today to grab their first ever U Sports medal. Well, you know, Acadia doesn't have a chance to make some history. Acadia has been making history, you know, a, a big, big rip for them in this tournament. And I think a lot of the fans out east and also just the fans here right now, which surprisingly they have a lot, should be super proud of them. But Manitoba, not the outcome they wanted, you know, coming ranked in first, now playing for bronze, obviously not really where they want to be, but an amazing place to be in, an amazing place for this program. So Acadia and Manitoba in a battle for bronze. Acadia, as mentioned, already making history, capturing their first AUS title, getting to this spot for the first time in their program's history. Can they capture a U Sports bronze medal today? It'll be a tough task taking on Ken Bentley and the Manitoba Bisons, who are the reigning Canada West champs. So two conference champs going head to head we're back for the first set from the Burridge Gymnasium as live coverage of the 2024 U Sports Women's Volleyball Championships continues on CBC Sports. Mark Hees here, president of Canuck Stuff. And we've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. And we're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships.
Feel every hit, goal, and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff, and this is a short video. Overkill short. Get yours today at overkill.ca. We're back from the Burridge gym, about set to decide. The bronze medalist, the powerhouse Manitoba Bisons. Seven national championships to their name. Entered at the one, as the one seed, the Canada West champions, taking on the Acadia Axe women. Michelle Wood in her 12th season for the Acadia Axe women. Already a four-time AUS Coach of the Year, and then this past year named U Sports Coach of the Year. She has inspired a lot of belief in this young group. And on the other side of the net, Ken Bentley, one of the goats of this game, 38th season, most wins in the sport, 1,100 plus to his name. You know, a phenomenal season, and I am just going to put this out here now. Not trying to be biased at all, but. For me, it does hit a little close to home. Number 23 on Acadia, Wesley Ann Bailey. I actually got the opportunity in my veteran season. She was my rookie coming in at York University. And, you know, it was an honor to get to watch her play her first OUA game. But to get to watch her play her last U Sports game honestly does mean a lot. So this is super exciting. Katrina Bentley, the opening serve. And we are underway in the bronze medal matchup. And they'll feed Wesley Ann Bailey early. It's firing there. Big block from Acadia, and that's what you're going to notice throughout this game, that Alberta, or that Manitoba Bison's block throughout this game. To back points off the serve from Katrina Bentley, the junior setter from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Send it to the back. Bentley in the middle for Katojo. Good diving play made there by Andy Elmonte, who has battled through some injury in this tournament. Wesley and Bailey in the middle. As Gray. This fires there. Tried to go in that deep corner. You know, this is absolutely going to be a game of the battle of the block. We have two very big players playing in the middle, and I think this one's going to turn into a, a big back and forth for the middles. Bentley back to the middle. Upset in the attack, hit the net. So point for Manitoba. Alexia LeMay Evans led the Acadia Axe Women in kills this season. As Eve Katojo will drop back. Right of Garden City Collegiate. It's a good serve as Axe Women couldn't handle that serve. in the middle, a dig from Bentley. On the back, Uche Chukwu, who was great in that semifinal against Alberta. 
in that five-set thriller. Ute Chuku is just a player that you can rely on wherever she is on the court. I mean, we watched her absolutely dominate front row, but back row, she is also a force to be reckoned with in, in that pipe position. Colin Ben, good response as Acadia makes it 5-2 and they're early going. A great shot and, you know, her body facing that corner, turn her arm, turn line, that's exactly what you want to be doing. Sam Bailey to serve, Bentley to Tojo. Ravrena Bradoski with that one. The big middles for Manitoba. Story of their season as Bentley goes to Badoski on this time. And that's what I think we're going to see a lot of in this game. Quick responses, especially from the middle, like you mentioned. Ella Gray, the serve this time. Dean will go to the back row. That blast neutralized. Almonte goes cross court when it just missed. Feed Almonte with the tip. An attack from the back. He's firing. Acadia is coming off of 20 attacking errors yesterday in their game against UBC. So this is going to be a big game for them to clean it up. You know, we saw a very, very good performance from Acadia against Brock. So I really hope we see that side of Acadia today. Big block there from Light, Uche Chukwu. Bentley for Uche Chukwu. Uche Chukwu is a player that just gets hotter and hotter as the game goes on. I mean, first set still very early in and she's showing that she's a player Acadia is going to want to keep an eye on. Michelle Wood will call a timeout here. The relationship between Ken Bentley and Light Uche Chukwu goes back 13 years with her involvement in the Junior Bisons program. And of course, she's been very familiar and friends. That friendship between her and Katrina Bentley has grown throughout those years. Very great relationship on the Manitoba Bisons end of things. As you take a look inside the huddle, Michelle Wood, you know, one of the, the great young coaches in U Sports, trying to get her team back on the right page here very young coach but what I love is that on Thursday we had a press conference and we were meeting with all the coaches and a couple players and what I love that she said was she's been in this position she's been on the national court and a big reason to why she wants to coach is to kind of put Acadia on the map like that give Acadia a chance because there is some great volleyball out east and I don't think it's been fully recognized or fully respected yet. Wood talked about playing there and, you know, she knew what Acadia could grow into. It just needed the right person and Michelle Wood is certainly that person. Four Coaches of the Year awards in just six years. Very impressive as the Manitoba Bisons, you know, we, we asked the question, how would they respond after a, a five set heartbreak match against Alberta yesterday? It's always tough sometimes to get up for the bronze medal game when you come in as the one seed, but they are coming in and firing on all cylinders. And you know, that's where that goldfish mentality has to come from. You know, obviously you can dwell about it. Obviously you're not happy about it. No, it's not the outcome you wanted, but you can't change it. Sulking about it, being upset about it, not playing to your potential isn't going to change the outcome. All you can do is work harder the next opportunity you get. Eve Columbine out of Victoria, British Columbia. As Erica Fisher rises up for that ball and Acadia string together a couple of points here. Fisher led the AUS with a 325 hitting percentage this past year. That was fifth nationally as well. 
Gray the pass, Bentley will set up Almonte. And a setter dump. We'll see a lot of that today from Charlotte Dean. Uche Chukwu, great diving play, Bentley. But Almonte couldn't get to that ball. And that's the grit that you like to see from Acadia. You know, Manitoba has proven to be that strong offensive team. And we saw Acadia crumble a little bit against UBC. So I think they had a good night's sleep. They woke up this morning and they said, let's go back to who we are. Uche Chukwu. The block was there for Acadia. Forced Uche Chukwu into that shot as the Axe women were, are within a couple of points here. Erica Fisher. Big swing on that ball and Two players converge looking for the dig. But instead, it is another point for Manitoba here. You know, I mentioned this being a big middle battle. I think we are going to see the middles on either team go head to head, and that's when you need to be ready for tips like that. You know, when you are sitting in the middle a lot, that's the, those are the shots that they like to mix in those pop tips. Anna Badoski, their second point tonight. Today, rather. And make it three, Brenna Badoski. Started playing the sport, 15 years old in high school. And everything really came to her really fast. You know, she picked up the sport, as mentioned, 15 year old, and then represented her country on the national stage only three years later. Played on the junior national team as well, and now joined a great program with the Manitoba Bisons in her junior season. Someone who dedicates herself to this sport, watching 11 hours per week, trying to prepare herself against every matchup or tendency the other team might give her. It certainly paid off thus far. 12-7, Manitoba in front. Free ball here for the Bisons. Bentley into the middle. Take a look at that replay there. You know, a great run. You want to establish those middle middles early, but just a little too much power on that swing. Erica Fisher, the AUS All-Rookie team in her, in her rookie year is Light Uche Chukwu with another kill. And you know, in order for Man or for Acadia rather to be successful in this game, that's a player you need to shut down. Acadia needs to figure out their block on that left pin, especially when she's over there. Uche Chukwu in her fourth year for the Bisons. Bit too much on that serve. And Toba Bisons will be hosting next season in 2024, the Youth Sports National Championships. And Charlotte Dean will serve now for Acadia. Goes cross court. More of the kill there. Almonte up to two points. That was a great attack from Almonte. You know, she did a really, really good job at showing cross, but then she went even sharper. And of course, Manitoba without Rhea Syrinx today. Player of the year in the in the country. Bentley goes for Gray. Diving. Dig made by Dorsey. Uche Chukwu keeps it alive. Almonte will send it over for the Bisons. That one is firing there. Nilemay Evans. 16-9, and Michelle Wood will call another timeout. You know, Evans was looking for that big swing off the hands, but kind of unlucky for her. The Bisons didn't close their block, so she couldn't find the hands and ended up just firing that one out. A little too much power. 
but you know, we talked about Acadia being in that tough position against UBC yesterday and being down and having a hard time battle back. And I talked about the errors that Acadia had and you know, it's it's a good chance, it's a good swing. You know, Wesley and Bailey putting pressure on their defense, making the Bisons work for that point. But here on this attack, she wanted it. She saw that seam, but you know, ended up not getting a lucky enough clip on those hands. So Acadia now is going to have to clean it up. Ken Bentley talking to his group. This is his 11th time at a national championship. Six titles to his name. Born yeah. in Winnipeg, went to Murdoch McKay Collegiate, graduated from U of M, and has now led his team to 40, nearly 40 great seasons in the first chair, Winnipeg through and through, Ken you know, And you mentioned the relationship that he has with these girls on the team, you know, knowing girls for 13 years, and that's an amazing junior Bisons program. It allows them to develop players at a young age and almost morph them into the type of athlete that they want at, the, at this U Sports level. Wesley Ann Bailey gets the kill, and a good point out of the timeout for Acadia. You know, Bailey is an interesting player to watch and play defense on because she doesn't have that, that typical middle swing. She's a little more tricky to read. Gray off that block and it drops in. A big point there, Eve Columban. Del Wood raves about her blocking scheme, her big middles. Three out of the top four leaders in kills for the Acadia Axe women are their middle blocks. Well, you know, the blocking on both sides, you know, and blocking takes discipline. It's not just you jump right up and down, you throw your hands over the net. There's a lot of training, a lot of work, a lot of mindset that goes into blocking, and we're seeing it on both sides of the court. Harley Dean just does an exceptional job beating her options, and this time it is LeMay Evans. Bentley goes for Almonte, and it drops out. A good use of the block. Now, El Monte saw that double block go up, and instead of hammering it into the block, that's what you want to do as a hitter, right? You want to blow it up, but she was smart. She slowed it down, wiped it off. Ella Gray from Surrey, BC. And flips the net, falls out of bounds. Evans from Azilda, Ontario, playing in her home province. A lot of athletes from Ontario representing Acadia. Charlotte Dean from Mississauga, Becky Dorsey from Toronto. And that's what Evans and Wesley Ann Bailey from Ottawa as well. And they talk, have talked about, you know, this kind of feels like a bit of a, yeah. a home environment. And that's what they had talked about in uh, that media day. I had said, you know, you have a lot of fans cheering from you out east. Is that going to affect your play? You know, and she was like, out east, no, we have so many fans here. And it's true, there's a full bleacher full of just red and blue. Fisher tips that one over. Bentley read it well. Uche Chukwu off the block. It's Fisher. Fisher, one of those athletes from Nova Scotia. Brookfield Rapids Volleyball Club. Second in the o AUS in solo blocks with 34. Badoski, great diving effort there. As the Katie Axe women were able to recover, Katie McLean made a great dig, but it's finished off by the Bisons. And Bentley is a great setter. You know, she just does a really, really good job at reading the other team's side and knowing what to do and when to do it. Both these setters very offensive. 
Charlotte Dean led the AUS with 55 setter kills, and I see the same with Bentley. As that one is put home by Jenna Lake. Jenna Lake was the AUS championship MVP in that three game championship. They beat St. Mary's. This is Erica Fisher. Bentley for Uche Chukwu. One of the best connections in U Sports. You know, what makes Uche Chukwu so effective is that hang time. Take a look at this replay. The blockers are there. They just need to wait. They need to time it better with her. Big exhale from Light Uche Chukwu. Lake, off that block. Dug out by Uche Chukwu. There's Almonte. And Jenna Lake misfires there with the Axe Women out of 22 to 15. Manitoba's two points away now. You know, obviously the set's not done, but the mindset for Acadia at this point is what do we bring into the next set and what do we leave in the first, you know? Obviously, we've seen a lot of great things from Acadia in this set, but I do think Manitoba has really been in control. And someone who's always in control, Light Uche Chukwu. Dig from Arnold. Almonte from the back row. Joust comes over to the side of Acadia. There's another blast from Gray, kept up by Arnold. But Acadia will get the point. And you know, it's hard not to watch this Bison side. I mean, watch the replay. Every single player is just moving around the ball. It's almost like a dance. Um, and they're doing such a good job at supporting, covering, moving to where they need to be, filling in those gaps on defense. Bentley into the middle for Katojo. Another blast from Akadi, and it's LeMay Evans. A great swing from LeMay Evans, and Katojo had a hard time closing that block. LeMay Evans took total advantage of it. Watch this replay here. Got it right through the seam and in between the one and six defender. Uche Chukwu from the back row. And Dig from Dean. As Manitoba will find a set point here. You know, everything is right there for Acadia. It's just that finish. It's just getting that ball over the net and finding the court. There have been a lot of shots into the net, shots missing wide. Katrina Bentley, the junior setter. Don't see that often from Bentley, a very very good server. Maybe not the aces, but always gets it in play. You know, I still can't believe that she's only a first year. It's, it's crazy to see. So one set point saved. Monte did a good job of just getting that one back. There's Bentley. Uche Chukwu! Set number one to the Bisons. What a feed to Uche Chukwu. And what Bentley has done a really, really good job at is establishing all of her hitters. She started the game early. Let me feed my middle. Let me make the middles on Acadia work. Then she went to her pins. Now she's running the pipe. Now that she's shown all of their skills, she's relying on everything. Light Uche Chukwu, who was emotional yesterday after a tough defeat to Alberta. 
but she has come to play in this bronze medal matchup. We got this set number two coming up from the Burridge. Mark Hees here, president of Canuck Stuff. And we've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. And we're pumped to be part of this year's New Sports National Championships. every hit, goal, and celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Mark Hees here, president of Canuck Stuff, and this is a short video. Overkill Short. Get yours today at overkill.ca. Welcome back inside the Burridge Gym. We'll hear from Mackenzie just a little bit later on. That mic starts working. Bentley, the set for Gray here in Manitoba. Picks up right where they left off after that first set, which they took 25 to 18 here in the bronze medal matchup, leading the way for Manitoba. Light Uche Chukwu. You know, what Acadia really needs to focus on coming into this second set, being down one is not letting Manitoba get a run early. And of course, no Rhea Syrinx in this matchup after that five-setter yesterday against Alberta. We talked with Ken Bentley before this tournament, and, you know, he was a little unsure about, you know, her status after missing the final five regular season games, the first two playoff games, and have to kind of manage her load throughout this tournament. You know, that is a tough position to be in because obviously she's a huge factor as to, you know, how this team got here, but at least she's able to be in attendance. She played yesterday, had a good game yesterday, um, but, you know, injuries obviously not what you want to happen, especially right before Nationals. Light Uche Chukwu can be called for the double there. It's a 2-1 advantage here for Acadia. Wesley and Bailey. Acadia with three service errors in that opening set. Manitoba with just three. There is Fisher in the middle. Now that's a kill in the middle. 
I mean, everything about that just worked out. Great pass, fabulous set, and she found the seam in that block, put it away. Bentley got it back for Katojo. Another joust. Ends up on Acadia's side. Free ball here. Bentley into the middle again. And it's finished off by Brenna Badoski. Almonte, good serve. Trying to go cross court, Eve Colombin. You know, with this swing here, everything is where it needs to be. It's just missing wide. And, you know, that might just come from lack of experience being in a national situation. Almonte serve, flips the net. And the, Drops for an ace. and the conversation in the huddle right now needs to be, what do we change? Obviously, two points, not that much. Don't let them get more. Now is the time to react. Fisher. Found out by Arnold. Chichuku. A delicate little shot over the block. The Bison's really, really starting to pick on that pot. for the Bisons on that double for Acadia and Michelle Wood will call another timeout here. Andy Almonte, she's had a real good start. Seven to three in the early going, Manitoba in front, but we want to send it over to Mackenzie Barwell who has an update. All right, everybody, apologies for the technical difficulties there. I wanted to hop on and contribute a quick conversation that I had with Greta Badoski's mom. I asked her what her experience has been like since joining the Manitoba Bisons program, and I was very interested to learn that Greta actually started her athletic career as a ringette player. That was for 11 years, and it wasn't until ninth grade when someone approached her and said, do you play volleyball? And she said, no, but I could. So that's when she joined that junior Bisons program and then eventually went on to that national junior national team as well. So even though they aren't competing in that gold medal match as we know they wish they were, clearly each player playing for each other as what Brenna's mom suggested. So I'm interested to see, to see what happens next year, guys. Thanks so much, Mackenzie, for that awesome update. Yeah, Brenna Badoski, Winnipeg, born and bred, and yeah, didn't start playing the sport until she was 15, and I know Manitoba is certainly glad that she did. Joining that Junior Bisons program with Ken Bentley and the success he's had there, really impressive as Manitoba is in front. Four points here, good block from Fisher, and able to recover. Bentley, go for Gray in the back row. Who finishes it off, and by the way, that Junior Bisons program, Ken Bentley. Ken, he's the only Canadian coach to have championships at the 14U, 15U, 16U, 17U, 18U, 20U, and Senior AA age categories. I he's mean, seen it all. He's seen it all, and that's definitely something very, very impressive to have on his resume. And his the level of skill that his team has, you know, the players that he's worked with for so long, it is showing. You know, they are very disciplined. They are very fine-tuned in their craft. And I loved how we talked about in our in our pre-tournament meeting, just about having to find new ways to motivate these athletes, like Light Uche Chukwu. He is coach for, for 13 years. How do you continue to, to get new things and, you know, teach her and motivate her in different ways, but I think they've done a, a, a tremendous job. Their relationship has, has blossomed over that 13 years and, you know, a relationship that the two will have for life. 
Things not really going the way Acadia wants them to. Two shanks on a serve. And Michelle Woods making a change, trying to give the Bisons a bit of a different look on the serve-receive line. Bentley, the setter dump. And in this set right now, all that looks like is happening is Acadia is being a little outplayed. Looks like Michelle Woods is about to call a timeout there, but it's hard, and we talked a lot about not playing another team's game. And right now, that does kind of look like what's happening to Acadia. Skill-wise, they're there, but it's just that matter of discipline. We talked about the fact that the Bisons, because they've been playing together for so long with the Junior Bisons program, you know, they've been to nationals before. They've done all of this before. So they kind of have a bit more of that discipline, that consistency down pat. Acadia still has to figure that out. You know, we saw sneak peeks against UBC yesterday. We saw it big against Brock the day prior. But, you know, today, right now, it does seem like Manitoba's game. And these are opportunities where they're kind of playing in their shell a little bit. Acadia needs to kind of fire themselves up a little bit. One player needs to step up now and say, you know what, it's me. I'm the one that's going to kind of lead the charge here, and I'm going to be the axe woman that gets this rally going. Haven't been able to handle that Almonte serve. See how the Axe Woman can respond after that timeout. An eight point lead in this second set for the number one seeded Manitoba Bisons, the two conference champions going ahead to head here. Fisher off that block. And that's the way that you want to respond in a timeout. Obviously, not the outcome. They didn't get the point, but you come out and you swing. And I like that Acadia is still in it. Uche Chukwu is a dynamic player. Almonte, another serve. Blake. This time in the middle, it goes to Badoski, who makes no mistake. Badoski in the middle, so far doing such a good job at finding ways to get through that block. Fisher does put up a really big block in the middle, but it's not slowing Badoski down. And finally, the break that Acadia needs here. Service error will get the side out. And Columbine will head back to serve former Iron Maiden, Victoria, BC native. And Bentley for Uche Chukwu. Goes off that top of the block. And that's what I mentioned in that first set, the hang time Uche Chukwu has. We'll take a look at this replay here. Everything is working for her. The block is where it needs to be, but again, it's just waiting. It's timing with your hitter. will set up Almonte again and just does an exceptional job making it so tough on that Acadia defense. Almonte is loving that pot shot. I mean, I don't blame her. It's been working so well for her. Brenna Badoski. The junior middle. Finds the net here. Sophie Edgar. Wolfville, Nova Scotia. We're up cheering for the Axe women. It's a chance to represent them here on the national stage. Light Uche Chukwu is on a mission today. Absolutely on a mission. And 
This mission is working for her and the Bisons. Playing in her final game for the Manitoba Bisons. And gets the applause from the crowd. This game, this team means so, so much to her. She came out wanting to get that last win. Chelsea Sabenga. The set it, server sub. Bentley goes for Gray into the double block. Wesley Ann Bailey was there. Bailey does such a good job at closing that block. Now take a look at her. She reads it well, and then she also gets her hands there, but her body and always turns it in. She does a really good job with her hands. Almonte got there after the poor pass, and it's back in play for the Manitoba Bisons. How about that? Wesley Ann Bailey with the kill. Great defensive pursuit from the Bisons there. I think a lot of people were like, all oh, the points over. And we saw the Bisons fans over here get so fired up when they made it over. So impressive. But again, a great kill for Wesley Ann Bailey. Almonte. And Badosky in the middle. Or Katojo in the middle. Katrina Bentley. The Jean Sauve College in Winnipeg. Five foot five junior setter. Opportunity Bisons. Here comes Gray. Blocked by Bailey. We'll go to Gray again off the top of the block. Into the middle it goes. Wesley and Bailey, another kill. And now Acadia is starting to heat up. Ten points down, not the position you want to be in, but that's the offense that you like to see. Back into the middle it goes, and there is Eve Katojo. These Bisons with the fastest response, they're really just not giving Acadia a break at all. Acadia goes on a one, two point run. Bisons right back in their face, giving it right back to them. Chloe Ellerbrook. Touch there, so point for Manitoba as they inch closer to taking this second set. If Manitoba, yes, they got seven titles through their name, but this is their first trip to this tournament in nine years. These players, they, they want to go out and finish with, with, the, with the medal here. Of course, hard work is absolutely paying off. I mean, take a look at the score. I love the discipline that the Bisons have. Good job. There are LeMay Evans going off the block. <laughs> Leslie Ann Bailey, former Ottawa Maverick. <laughs> Bentley Almonte off the top of the block. Comes LeMay Evans again. From the back it goes, and a block from Fisher. Big block from Fisher. Love that they are not giving up. 10 points, intimidating. But Fisher not ready to take her foot off the gas. A huge block. And a Fisher in her third season. Service error. And those aren't the serves you want to be missing. Coming off of a huge block like that, that's when you get the, the run going, and it kills the momentum a little bit. Time's starting to run out for Acadia in the second set. 
Fisher goes long. After Charlotte Dean set her up that time after the center dump. 12 point advantage, 22-10 for Manitoba. Gonna go two sets up here in the bronze medal match. Lamay Evans stuffed. Played back by Badoski. That one was blocked again. There's another blast. Kept alive on that blast from Sabenga. Bentley back for Almonte. Kia playing good defense here. And they even better offense. That's a great read from Acadia. She knew she had two blockers right in front of her and decided to just tip it right over the block. And you know what? Sometimes that really works, especially because the libero got caught running back. Bentley back for Almonte. Great bronze medal match for Andy Almonte after going through an injury in that quarterfinal. Playing well in that semi. It's come to play here in the bronze. So Benga. LeMay Evans picks her spot. Acadia starting to heat up a little bit, but you have to wonder, did they decide to heat up a little too late? Into the middle it goes, Badoski gives Manitoba a set point. Obviously, you don't want to miss your serve on set point, but the Bisons have got themselves in to a pretty good position that, not that the point doesn't matter, but they have a little bit of leeway. Here's Erica Fisher. So Benga into the game and finishing off this second set. The Manitoba Bisons. Take a 2-0 lead over Acadia here in the bronze medal match. The Bisons obviously one set away, but you know, I don't think Acadia is ready to roll over. I do think that we're about to see a pretty good set. Savanga not playing too far from home. Just down the road from Ancaster, Ontario. She gets the set ceiling kill. We'll be back for the third set. Can the Acadia Axel enforce the fourth? Stay tuned on CBC Sports. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. And we've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's New Sports National Championships. Parce que le sport, ça se regarde en direct. Soyez au cœur de l'action avec les web diffusions en direct d'événements sportifs. Immense. J'ai des frissons. All right, everyone. Welcome back inside Bird's Gym for our bronze medal match between Acadia and the Manitoba Bisons. Guys, I've been doing my parental rounds a little bit. I talked to Becky Dorsey's mom and I wanted to get her take because Becky's in her fifth year, she's graduating. She came back to make sure she had an opportunity to play with this 2024 roster. And she said it's just been phenomenal to watch her at this stage. And also over the course of the past couple of years under Michelle Wood's leadership, obviously Michelle also having her own experience as a player back at U of T as a libero as well. So she said, you know, for Becky to have that, especially in her final year, now that Michelle's head coach 
coaching. It's been the world of a difference for her. Not only that, though, you know, they were they didn't hesitate to tell me that even though these games aren't necessarily going their way today and maybe yesterday as well, they're just so honored to be here. We talk about, you know, this being a season of first for this team, and that was exactly what she placed emphasis on. She said, we know we're playing the first seed coming into this tournament. Like, this is the place we want to be, and we want to have opportunities to play teams like this. So, although necessarily score speaking, it might not be the way they want. These are the opportunities that they need to grow and to be better. They said they're honored to be here, guys. Be here for sure. And after that win against Brock, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, were a little surprised by the result. But I think Michelle Wood, as much as you know, the Acadia Axe women are, are happy to be here. You know, they came in here with the intentions to win a national championship. And, you know, you're going up against the likes of Ken Bentley and, you know, and, and the Manitoba Bisons here in the bronze medal game, UBC Thunderbirds in their semifinal matchup. You know, it's going to take some time for this Acadia Axe women team to grow. But what a season for them. You know, and it all comes from Michelle Wood just instilling that belief that they can go out and beat any opponent. Absolutely. What a season. And, you know, I love the grit that we've seen from Acadia in this this uh, tournament this weekend. It would be easy for them to say, you know what, we're new here. We got here. We punched our ticket. Now let's just enjoy it. No, they've come out every single game, and they really are giving everything that they need to give. And it just shows you how far the program uh, has come and how far the program will continue to go. But the story of this one, the Manitoba Bisons. They are the Canada West champs for a reason. And they are on track to become the bronze medalist taking set number one, 25 to 18. Second set, a decisive 25 to 13. Leading the way with eight kills on 12 swings. Light Uche Chukwu. Just two errors for Light playing in her final game as a Manitoba Bison. We saw the emotions yesterday. Had that embrace. I believe with her mother or you know a family member after the game, and you know just in tears. You know this game means so much. Where the teammates mean so much to her, and this bronze medal, if they get it done, will certainly be a great keepsake of just the story of this season and the great pride that she plays with. Of course, and for a lot of athletes, not just volleyball players, but that sport is what you identify as. That's who you are, especially when you hit that varsity level, you know, and when you see that chapter closing, regardless if you go pro, regardless if you don't, wherever your kind of career ends up taking you, there is emotions to it. It's hard to let go of this. You get to play with a lot of these girls for, you know, five years, and it's hard to kind of let that go. So, of course, this is going to be a weekend filled with emotions. Overpass floats over. Manitoba will get that point. In the middle it goes. Killed. Leslie Ann Bailey. You know, for Manitoba coming off of such a big win in that second set, they got comfortable. You know, so sometimes coming out in these third sets and being ahead by so much, it's it's very easy to kind of let loose a little bit, you know, lay off a little bit because you kind of know you have the team. And Acadia, they are responding. And you can see it in the score right now. You can see their energy and their attitude is still up. You know, obviously Manitoba's not too worried. They are up two sets, but if they want to go for the three, they are going to have to pick it up. Almonte trying to beat that Acadia block. And she'll do just that.
Erica Fisher, stuffed by Vodosky. You know, just taking a look at um, the stats from last set, Acadia with 12 killing errors. And then if you look down at Manitoba, eight. Obviously not a huge difference, but you don't want to be the team making the most errors. Into the middle it goes, Fisher. And Acadia gets their lead back, 5-4. May Evans, good serve. Uche Chukwu got the pass, and then Arnold, unable, unable to track that ball down and get it back in play. A good serve from LeMay Evans. A great serve from LeMay Evans. I love, I love the fact that Arnold didn't just give up on that ball. Really the identity of this Bison's team, tracking down every ball. As it goes back into the middle for Badoski and saw yesterday, light Uche Chuklu just like battle for every single ball. The digs that she made yesterday, the whole Bison's team really incredible to watch. Just their compete and their ability to get that ball back in play and quickly lead to the transition attack has been impressive to watch all tournament long as that one goes off the block and Badoski has come up big in this bronze medal match. But well, what I really like that Manitoba said is they like to respond over react. So, you know, in this situation, earlier in the game, obviously it's tied now, but the Bisons were down, you know, and instead of kind of playing tight and getting a little nervous, they respond. Tied at six. Manitoba up to nothing, and Charlotte Dean, who was the AUS kill leader for setters, will put her team back in front. I feel like Dean uses those at a really, really good time. Mm. And I love when a setter doesn't overdo it, right. you know? Bentley, back for Uche Chukwu, who goes off the block. Ute Chuku getting a little creative here. Decides to just use the little wipe. I mean, Fisher has humbled her a little bit, but not too much. <laughs> Here's Uche Chuku. She has come to play in her final game for the Manitoba Bison. She has come to play for sure. Take a look at a replay on her kill. Again, just wiping off the block. Work ethic inspired by her parents, Patrick and Happiness, who moved to Canada when Light, which is six years old, sacrificed everything, she says, for her and a chance for her to play this sport. And boy, aren't we glad that they did. Incredible. Incredible player and inspiring players across this country. Doing a really good job at mixing her shots up too. Uche Chuku is there. Fisher able to read it and then Bentley finishes off the point. Bentley standing five foot five, but she can jump. For sure, she can, she can jump. And we talked about how this is going to be a net battle. You know, both teams take pride in their blocking. Um, and we have seen a lot of really big blocking. But what I love is that Uche Chukwu isn't getting nervous or isn't shying away from that block. She's finding ways to score with the block. So Manitoba, will they pull away again in this third set? 
Manitoba took the opener 25 to 18 and then 25 to 13 in the second. Acadia came out really good in this third set. Manitoba, they are the, the Manitoba Bisons, the powerhouse for a reason. They have that ability to just take the lead and change the momentum. And they have just done that in this third. And take a look at Achichuko's, um her volleyball IQ. So on that first hit, she's going to go ahead, she's going to feed it into the block, and she's going to get that point. On this one, exact same approach. All that she does is change her arm swing and get the tip. And that's what's nice about that veteran experience, a player that's been there, that's done that. That's how younger players learn. How will the Axe women respond? Lots of pretty good response. Jenna Lake. I was gonna say, it looks like they're responding right away. Point number two for Lake. Out of Conception Bay, South Newfoundland. Former Newfoundland Husky. Fisher on the serve. Uchechuku the pass. Bentley sets up Almonte off the top of the block. What a system for Acadia and Charlotte Dean. You know, Not to do too much where. And you can see Dean is a little frustrated with herself. Those are the points that are frustrating. You saw a great defensive play from Acadia in six. You put a free ball over. Just get it in. Uche Chukwu. Ray gets it back in play. She'll get set up here and goes off the hands. The left side on Manitoba doing a really good job at wiping the block and using it. Twelve eight. Dean goes back to the middle. Great diving dig there from Uche Chukwu. Free ball here for Acadia. Dean goes back to the middle and Bailey. Great block from the Bisons again. Now it's the Bisons with the free ball. Into the middle it goes for Katojo. Another attack from the Axe Woman. Great defense on display here. Gray was stuffed there. Almonte. Bump set here for Lake, goes cross court. Talk for the about kill. That, talk about that rally. Yep. So impressive, such impressive defense from both sides. Impressive attacking from both sides. Charlotte Dean playing not too far from home. Mississauga, Ontario. Another dig from Uche Chukwu. Ella Gray off that block. Bentley, Katojo. I love that Bentley Katojo connection. You can tell Bentley just puts it to right where Katojo needs it. Almost every single time she's put it away. Check out that replay. Bentley is someone who puts in the work hours and hours in the gym. An insane work ethic, what Uche Chukwu calls it. And she says, you know, it's a huge responsibly, responsibility being a setter. You're touching the ball every single point. You know, that's just kind of the responsibility of a setter. That's, those are her words, you know, but that's great leadership, and that's a great work ethic from the junior player. You know, great work, work ethic. Wesley and Bailey right there respond to Katia, pulls them right back into it. These Axe women refusing to die. Jenna Lake, the AUS Championship MVP. Almonte struggled on the pass. Arnold back in play. Uchechuku the free ball. Into the middle it goes. Bailey, good block there from Katojo on that one-on-one. -on -one. Katojo blocked by Bailey, and it's back in play, dug out by Gray. Here's Uchechuku, diving dig made by Lake. We go back and forth. Another great rally. Off that block. Gray kept it alive. From the back 
Oh, it's Almonte. A diving dig made by Dorsey. That was incredible. Bentley. Again, Almonte. And it's kept alive. Wanted a rally here. And it drops for the point. And Acadia celebrates that incredible rally. What a rally and what a well-earned point for Acadia. You can see the team now celebrating, now relieved that it's over. But what a way to finish it. Both sides of the court, though, not giving up. Becky Dorsey, who set a regular season dig record a couple of years ago for the Acadia Axe women. Saving that point, but Gray answers the call here. Put your team up by two, 14-12. Trina Bentley, so, so impressive. Tojo on that serve. Big points here for Acadia. Leanne Bailey sent it over there. Now it's Gray off the top of the block. You know, both sides have done a really good job at responding to the block and finding ways to score around it. I know I've said it a lot in this game, but here right now on the replay, just a great job at hitting high off those hands and not forcing it into that double block that Acadia has been putting up. Battle for the ball there. And it'll end up going Manitoba's way on the net touch. So 16 to 12 here in this third set. Another timeout for Michelle Wood. Her second timeout down in this third set in this bronze medal matchup, Manitoba and Acadia. You know, a four-point game, not a huge gap, obviously not a very small gap, but a gap that you don't want. A gap that you definitely don't want if you're Acadia. And right now, I think Michelle Woods is just telling her team, relax, it's okay. Acadia came out in this third set super hot and playing their game, and now it might be slipping away a little bit because the Bisons are getting back into what they're good at. But this is becoming a couple of the last chances for Acadia to respond. And, you know, talking about responding, let's look at this rally from both teams, that defensive pursuit, that offensive pursuit, an amazing pick up by the libero, a shot that looked like it could go away. Nope, picked up, no problem. And then there, another great defensive attack. It's, I think it's the level of defense and, and, and how precise the passing is. And it, right there, not swinging too hard into the block, but using it and using it to score. Manitoba is one set away from capturing youth sports bronze. And May Evans. Good defense here from Manitoba. That one goes off the top of the block for La Monte. Again, another great dig and a great dig from a middle. You know, I, I, I've said a lot this weekend, if there's a middle and five, that's where the offense wants to be aiming at. But Kotojo has shown that she's not only a great middle, but also a great defender in five. Leave Kotojo on the serve. Wesley Ann Bailey, great diving play. Made there by Kotojo. May Evans, Ray the pass. Uche Chukwu from the back row. Now back in the middle for Bailey. Kotojo with a great pass. And Uche Chukwu misfires. Yes, a misfire, but the lead up into that hit was insane. If, if she had gotten a hand on that ball and properly executed it, that would have been an unstoppable hit. Leanne Bailey the serve. Arnold the set for Almonte off the top of the block. Go back to LeMay Evans. Who goes inside.
and these Axe women, they are battling. Back within three. Bentley sets up Gray. And a point for Ella Gray. You know how badly Manitoba must have wanted that shot at UBC in the final, having beaten them in Canada West. Ella Gray, especially from Surrey, had her best games this season against UBC. But they're playing exceptionally well in this bronze medal matchup. And that's exactly what I was going to say. You know, obviously they did really want that gold medal game, but to be playing in a bronze medal game, close to just as impressive, and you can tell they really want it. You know, they are working really, really hard to get it. Overpass here, opportunity for Manitoba, and it goes into the middle for Badosky. 20 to 14, the Bisons. The middles, to taste it. Uh, well, the middles have been such big players for the Bisons in this game. You know, we saw the pin hitters. We saw them go off. We saw them blow up the blocks. But I don't think this Bisons team would be anything without these middles. Badoski, Katojo, some of the very best in the country. Kind of go line there. Colin Ben, it's fires. And the Bison's just four points away now. And as the start of the set starts to inch closer and closer, you know, you have to wonder if there's any anxiety that Acadia is starting to feel. Not afford to trade points here. Acadia's just going to get that one over. No one was there to read where that ball was going on the second hit. And the Bison's are within three. You know, this might be one of the last chances that Acadia gets to respond and gets to get that run going. And let's see how they respond to it. AUS champs making history. The first ever conference title for Acadia this season. And they qualify to this point. Taking on the Manitoba Bisons, the number one seed. Best team all year long. They're looking for their eighth national title. And they end up playing the bronze medal game. Now they're just two points away. Good shot there, Eve Colombin. They're missing the same shot just a couple of points ago. You know, a great shot, and it's no secret. Manitoba is a very well-trained machine but you need to give it to Acadia. They are battling in this one. Bentley was there. And it's match point, Manitoba. Beautiful play from Katrina Bentley. Brenna Badoski to serve with match point. And one match point save for Acadia. You know, serving on match point, especially when there is a medal on the line, obviously very, very nerve wracking, but not the time you want to be missing that serve. Another match point for Manitoba. Uche Chukwu! A great diving play. Great defense from the Axe Women. Uche Chukwu again off the top of the block. And they get it back in play. They will again. Bentley into the middle. And there it is. Eve Katojo. And it's U Sports Bronze for the Manitoba Bisons. And a super emotional response from the Bisons head coach and a very, very well earned award. You know, you love to see it. Obviously, not the outcome Acadia wanted, but. 
the Bisons have worked so hard this season, coming into the tournament ranked first, didn't get the outcome they wanted yesterday, but what an emotional, amazing outcome today. You saw the tears immediately, Ken Bentley and an embrace with assistant coach Michelle Swatsky Coop, three time national champion herself, and the hugs on this team as the Manitoba Bisons are bronze medalists and the embrace with Light Uche Chukwu, whose U Sport career comes to an end with one last win with her best friends. Such an amazing accomplishment for the program, and it just goes to show how far volleyball has come, you know, and how much skill is really required, how mentally taxing, how emotionally taxing this game really is. And, you know, as emotional as it is and as hard as it is to step away from, they must be so proud of themselves to have put in all of that work and look at how much it's paying off. You know, it's obviously sad tears that it's over, but happy tears for the accomplishment that they have gotten. Time to hand out the Mikasa players of the match. And a straight sets win for the Manitoba Bisons as they capture bronze from Acadia. And we go to LeMay Evans, who was the kill leader for Acadia, crucial to that AUS championship this season. And Acadia will finish in fourth place, the highest ever finish in their first U Sports Championship. And that's amazing in itself. You know, Michelle Wood said when she came into the tournament, they're not here just because they made it. They're here to compete, and it's so good for them that they got here. They should be super proud of themselves. And Brenna Badoski, what a game from her. She was incredible in the middle for Manitoba. Absolutely incredible. A very, very well-earned award. You know, on both sides, a very hard-fought battle. Obviously, Manitoba came out, you know, going 3-0. and But from Acadia, the work ethic, you know, and obviously there are some tears. Obviously, it is upsetting. You know, they did think that they could go all the way, but they should be so proud of themselves. And I don't know about you, Matt, but I don't think this is the last time we're going to see Acadia. Definitely not. You talk about, you know, coaching in this, in this sport. Ken Bentley, one of the best this sport has ever seen side by side there with Michelle Swatsky Coop on the other end Michelle Wood what she's doing with Acadia super super impressive as Ken Bentley adds another medal to his total as his Manitoba Bisons respond after the heartbreak in five sets to Alberta yesterday with a bronze medal win The player for the, of the tournament for Acadia, LeMay Evans, and she'll get a nice keepsake that she'll remember forever. You were part of history, first ever trip for the Acadia Axe women, the final eight. And like you said, Teresa, the first of many we predict. <laughs> Katrina Bentley. Very well deserved. I mean, all weekend we watched how well she ran that offense. And, you know, obviously when you have hitters that are as skilled as they are on the Bisons, it's a bit easier. But for Bentley, she did such a good job at knowing who to run, when to run them, and how to reverse that flow. Very, very well-earned award. And having to adjust with Rhea Surings out today and utilizing Almonte and Light Uche Chukwu and all the different middles that they possess as well. It was a really, really good performance all tournament long from Katrina Bentley. As the bronze medals will be awarded to the Manitoba Bisons. And this is the suit jacket that I was talking about on the first day. I love the gold. I love the pride that so many of these fans have. And it must just make this moment so much more rewarding. You know, it means so much to the players. But to have family and friends here also cheering them on, it's, it's amazing. Really special moment for all of these players. You know, the players maybe didn't get all the playing time, but were there to support and practice all season long. 
You know, and this great staff that Ken Bentley credits as a big reason why the Bisons got to this point. And from the outside, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you didn't play. Did you deserve it? A national medal goes <laughs> is so much deeper than who were the starting six on that floor. You know, it's who showed up to practice, who worked hard, who was in the gym every day, you know, and every single girl in this lineup right now is very, very deserving of this medal because, you know, regardless if it was today or if it was in the gym or if it was supporting one another, every single person contributed to this moment. Well, a lot of returning faces for this Bisons team next year. Bentley, Surinx, you know, coming off the U Sports Rookie of the Year in her first year. Next year, she's the U Sports Player of the Year. That is really hard to believe. Brenna Badoski, Ella Gray, Andy Almonte, Eve Katojo, and others. But two very important seniors, Julia Arnold in her senior season, and Light Uche Chukwu past five years playing for the Manitoba Bisons, saying goodbye tonight. You know, saying goodbye, but a legacy that will for sure live on. And the work of the athletic therapy team as well to keep these athletes in shape and healthy throughout the season, you know, battling through injuries because Manitoba, en route to this bronze medal, certainly faced their fair share of adversity and injuries. But you know, what you love to see is even the trainers getting emotional and that just goes to show how tight knit, how big of a family it is. You know, you've talked about how many championships Manitoba has won. It's not the first time, you know, but for it to still be as emotional, like this is the first one, it just goes to show you how much it means to them and how important an accomplishment like this really is. Bronze medal number five for Ken Bentley to go along with four silver medals. And of course, the six national championship medals. What a group of players, these Manitoba Bisons led by Ken Bentley in his 38th season, 1,100 wins and counting for KB. What an amazing accomplishment for both teams. Obviously, M Manitoba should be very, very proud of themselves, and they have a bit of hardware to take home, but for Acadia, what an amazing accomplishment. And like Uche Chukwu, we talked about her all match long. You know, she wants to be an inspiration for others. She's talked about that. You know, not seeing a ton of players who look like her growing up, you know, black volleyball players, and she made it a mission to inspire other players, you know, not just in Manitoba, not just in Winnipeg, but across the country, and oh my, watching her play, how can you not be inspired? Just the way she competes, the way she conducts herself, the way she rallies her teammates, she is a special player. I don't know if we'll ever see another player like Light Uche Chukwu. And inspire is the best word that you could use. I mean, look at the emotion coming from the girls on the court right now. It's hard to not get like choked up over here ourselves, but it's just, it's so nice to watch. It's nice to watch that sisterhood, that respect, that family aspect that these girls have. It's been so much work, but for a player like Light, a player who put everything out there and led her team in points various times and today was an absolute leader. She should be very, very proud of her accomplishments at Manitoba. Manitoba, your bronze medalist here in 2024 as they salute the Bison faithful who made the trip. Next season, Manitoba will be hosting these national championships, so you know they will be playing in a U Sports quarterfinal in a year from now, but it just won't be with the same group of players. And you see the emotions from Ken Bentley. This was a really special group. Very special group, very special moment, and I'm happy we got to be a part of it. I'm happy that we got to watch this happen this weekend. And you know, for the viewers watching at home, the conversation of young girls looking up 
to volleyball and looking up saying to certain players, I have I have that number, you know, I'm wearing a your a jersey to your game this weekend. Moments like this are why it's so worth it and why it's so rewarding. And a picture that will be memorialized forever. Bisons came to Hamilton, came out with hardware, maybe not the color that they wanted. They come out as winners in their final match of the season and come away with that bronze medal. Light Uche Chukwu in her final U Sports game. How about 11 kills, six digs, solo block, leaving it all on the line. And you love that moment right there, the Bisons doing their, their little Bison sign with their hand. Really special moment here. We're going to send it over to Mackenzie Barwell, who has a very special guest, as we see that. Give a spin. Give a spin. Look at the jerseys, all the support for you. Congratulations, player of the game. And now you're going home with a bronze medal. It's, it, it's really an incredible accomplishment. Can you just start by telling everyone what's going through your head? How are you feeling right now? I. I, it's just amazing because we were so close last year and like we had an incredible game against Dalhousie and then to actually be able to do it again this year, do it for our coaches, do it for everyone who's graduating is just incredible and I'm so proud of everybody for doing such an incredible job and playing so well this entire weekend. Absolutely and we know that yesterday was so close and this is maybe not the game that you initially wanted to be in but what can you say about your team's ability to kind of reset after last night and then come back and play for each other and really come out with this passion that we've seen? Well Kez said as I think said it best in our change room afterwards is that no matter what happened yesterday it doesn't determine our worth it doesn't say anything about us and we put our all out there and all we could do is come back today and just try our best and do it for light do it for our athletic therapist do it for everybody who isn't going to be able to do this again and I'm so happy to say that we are and we did do it for light and for Kez and those people who aren't coming back so yeah Brenna, so well said. Thank you so much for your time. You. Enjoy, enjoy it with your teammates, and yeah, take care. Back to you guys. Awesome stuff, Mackenzie and Brenna Badowski, player of the match in that bronze medal match. And you're talking about Kazaya Hepner, you know, who had that great speech of yeah, not maybe not the result we wanted yesterday, but a chance to to go out and earned that bronze medal today. Hepner was the teammate of the year last year, tore her ACL, but was a cheerleader on the bench all year long, and a big reason why these Bisons were all on the same page, motivating one another as they really do have the heart of a champion. It's bronze this time, but lots to look forward to. Just won't be with Light Uche Chukwu and some of the other graduating players. Teresa, any final thoughts? Such an amazing accomplishment. And, you know, like you said, not the outcome that they wanted, but an outcome that was very well deserved. And this isn't the last time we'll see the Bisons. Thank you so much for watching. This is Matthew Davison signing off from Burridge Gym. U Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat U Sport at Radio Canada, une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettler, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues des championnats U Sports. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile montante du volleyball. Le V 200W, ballon officiel de U Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V 200W, official volleyball of U Sports.